Hi guys, it's me, Bart. I uh, wanted to show you my hybrid magnifier that I've talked about on the list recently. And uh, basically it's a quick setup that I set up uh, this weekend. And really the only thing I had to build extra uh, was the primary coil from components that I've already had. Uh, but basically what I have here is a three coil system. It is a magnifier as it's a three LC system. Um, what's different about this coil is the extra coil and the top loader right over the top of the driver. Uh, that's a little bit, a little bit different <laughs> than something normal. What I wanted to find out was a, a program like Java TC that's using Paul Nicholson's uh, GOTC core code, uh, a, a program that can model the capacitance uh, of the surroundings of coil to coil, uh, top load to the coils to ground, everything like that. Um, see if it could actually uh, design a three-coil system like this and come out right. So, how I went about doing that was to actually First thing I did was I modeled the extra coil and the top load in Java TC in the secondary. And this one right here is a four and a half inch diameter on a PVC form. And it's uh, 900 turns of 24 gauge, is 21.165 inches in length. Uh, the top load is a 9 by 30 spun aluminum toroid. And it has a center disc as part of the toroid. That's also, the center disc is also modeled in uh, Java TC as a top load object. Uh, so that's the coil. There were no primary inputs for for this uh, portion of it. For the driver coil and for the primary coil, what I did was go ahead and model those as a cylinder object, and I gave a ground connection on both of those. Now the driver coil here is 12.75 inches in diameter. It's 18 gauge. It's close wound. Uh, at this point in time, the whole coil was wound when I started modeling this. Uh, this actually used to be a really tall coil, about 40 inches uh, tall, something like that, and it's had a lot of a lot of life on it. And eventually, it's fallen over a few times, and I retired the coil, cut it into three sections, and I'm using this section for this. Uh, as a matter of fact, I believe Terry Chris has one of those sections he was going to use for one-to-one -one HD testing. Um, but the primary coil is nothing more than I went to the hardware store, got a bucket cut the bottom out of the bucket and I used it for a form to wind the primary coil on. I used a tie wrap method to secure the, uh, the this is 3 8 uh, soft copper tubing on here. Um, had those at, at a ground connection in there and I went ahead and ran everything in its relative position and I came up to 181 kilohertz on that. So that, I said okay, now let's go ahead and save that information offline in the text editor and then I went back to Java TC and this time I wanted to model the driver coil and the primary with that, okay, as a top load. And how I did that was put put the uh, driver into the secondary. I put the primary uh, into the primary section, and I put the extra coil as a top load object. Obviously, it's a cylinder, so I modeled it as a cylinder, and uh, I gave it a top load connection, considering it's connected to the top load of the secondary or the driver coil. And of course, I put the toroid in its uh, appropriate place in the top load objects. Um, I went ahead and ran that in Java TC, and then I was able to actually adjust the number of turns I would need on the driver, uh, considering everything in its relative position and how each uh, each part is affecting the capacitance to the to the driver coil, and therefore affecting the resonant frequency. So I uh, went ahead and figured out that I needed 250 turns. Um, I took this coil and unwound it until I had 250 turns. There was about 350 to begin with. Uh, the actual height of the of the turns on this form is 10.4 inches, and the last turn I slow wound it, extended it all the way around and up and connected up here. Uh, for the primary, that's pretty easy. I was already pretty close, and I ended up needing 4.7 turns with a 0.06 microfarad cap bank that I'm using. Um, so that's basically how it went, and I was actually able to get this coil at 181 kilohertz, the primary at the same, the extra coil at the same, as long as everything's in its position. If I was to move anything off somewhere else, it would change the resonant frequencies of everything. Um, yeah, that'd be something else. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and run it, and before I do that, I'm going to show you my, my spark gap sec section while I'm at it, since I have the video camera. And just to let you guys know, I... Uh, I have a really tight space in here in the garage. I got a washer and, washer and dryer on the back side, and I'm working on a 73 uh, Dodge Dart. Uh, so I got a couple engines over on this side of the room, 
primary coil down here, other coil components are everywhere. Um, the back of the wall is four and a half feet from the edge of the toroid to to the garage door. So uh, that's about it. I want to see if Java TC can do it, and and it did, and came out perfect. So uh, let me go ahead and show you the spark gap, and then I'll run it for you.